Welcome back fellow artists, Jis here. In this video I'll be painting the Ale Stall Waitress from Tabletop World's Albert Market Kickstarter. This figurine was designed and 3D printed by Tiny Furniture. While painting, I'll also talk about a crucial step in bringing your miniatures to life. How to choose the right colors for your model. As you can see, I've already cleaned and primed the model. I'm gonna show you all the paint colors that I'll use, and I'll be using simple techniques. I'll first cover all the surfaces with a base coat, applying one or two coats of paint depending on its opacity. I usually dilute the paint with some water to make it more fluid and easy to apply. I'll then apply shades or washes to create the shadows. And finally, I'm gonna highlight each color to make them stand out. Feel free to share your thoughts and ask questions in the comment section. Color selection is one of the most important aspects in miniature painting. It sets the mood, defines character, and adds the wow factor to the figurine. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned pro, mastering color selection is essential. However, it's sometimes difficult to find inspiration and choose the best colors for some models. Inspiration can come from looking at artwork and illustrations, nature, movies and TV shows, comics and illustrated books, different historical periods, or simply the work of other miniature painters. Before we pick up our brushes, it's important to understand the miniature. Take a closer look at the skull, details, and the story it tells. These details will guide your color choices. Mythical creature or monster can be of any color. However, if you're painting a heroic knight, there's a good chance his armor will be made of metal. It will then be better to choose a second color, which will contrast with the color of the armor. Also consider the environment where your miniature is located. Dress in rich green colors, a forest elf becomes one with the woodland's beauty. In the same way, vibrant townsfolk dressed in a spectrum of colors, bring life and cheer to the bustling streets. Let the narrative guide your color choices to make the miniature truly immersive. Next, let's talk about the color wheel. It's a powerful tool for choosing harmonious color scheme. We have primary colors, red, blue, yellow, secondary colors, green, orange, purple, and tertiary colors. I like to select at least three colors when I paint a model. In the case of the waitress I'm painting, red will be the dominant color. To create a warm versus cold contrast, the second color should be blue or a secondary color like green or violet. Now if I go on the opposite side of the color wheel, it should tell me which color to use as a tertiary color. Anything between green, yellow or orange should do the trick. The last important thing to consider is the tone of the color. Since I'm using a fairly dull tone of red and blue, the third color should also be quite dull. So I'm gonna choose a greenish brown as my third color. Remember, practice makes perfect. So grab your brushes and let your creativity flow.
I hope you've enjoyed this simple approach to painting miniatures. If you like my work, a thumbs up is always very appreciated. Consider subscribing to the channel if you'd like to be notified when the next video comes out. I'd like to thank my local hobby store, Fenris Workshop. Despite the fact that they are in the process of expanding their store, I received an excellent service during my visit last week. If you're in the USA or Canada, check them out. I'll leave a link to their website in the description. In the next episode of this series, I'll be painting the Jovial Bard. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep on painting and take care!